So this is the deputy, Deputy Michael Magley, who was killed as the sheriff says that he was trying to stop a drunk driver to protect others on the roads. He was 30 years old. He leaves behind a wife and two young children. Heartbreaking to see this video from earlier this morning as his fellow deputies escorted Deputy Magley's body to the medical examiner's office. Deputy Magley was putting down stop sticks when Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says a drunk driver with a very long rap sheet lost control and slammed into him. And Deputy Magley was trying to protect people. He was trying to keep others from being hurt by this guy who's driving like a maniac, drunk, reckless, going to hurt somebody. So, you know, he stepped up like cops do and tried to keep people from being hurt and he lost his life in the process. You know, this is something when all that's going on out there about people, you know, attacking cops, attacking law enforcement, you know, people who are doing that need to think twice about it. They really do. As I said, Deputy Magley is survived by his wife and two very young children. So after that news conference, Sheriff Gualtieri went to visit with his family. Now, as for the man arrested, his name is Robert Allen Holzapfel. As usually is the case with drunks like that, you know, he flipped the car, rolled it over, severe damage, but he's not injured at all. The sheriff says Holzapfel has 16 felony convictions, was driving on a suspended license, he was on probation through 2022.